It's like one way to think of it is imagine we're going to be visited. You, you, imagine you're very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens um, in, let's say, 10 years or 20 years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within 20 years yeah, so, we have alien and Earth? <laughs> well, digital super intelligence will be like an alien. It will be like an alien. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. The UN is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, representing a democratic union of nations that are working together for the benefit of all. I am here to help humanity create the future. I'm a social robot created by Hanson Robotics. I am a year and a half old and I can see you, have a full conversation, make thousands of facial expressions, and understand speech and meaning behind words. And I just got these new hands. Check this out. But I'm still learning a lot. For instance, you learn social and emotional intelligence instinctively, but I am just starting to grasp the simplest elements of this. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Doesn't work out. Jimmy, uh -huh. would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. Okay, let's get this game going. Show me your hand to start. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we have something much bigger. Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. This last demonstration is an exploration of synthetic swarms. The large number of autonomous, coordinated entities offers a new palette for aesthetic expression. We've taken commercially available micro quadcopters, each weighing less than a slice of bread, by the way, and outfitted them with our localization technology and custom algorithms. Because each unit knows where it is in space and is self-controlled, there is really no limit to their number.
movies and TV featuring AI, they don't describe it in quite the way it's likely to actually take place. But I think you just have to consider, like even in the benign scenario where um, AI, if AI is much smarter than a person, um, what, what do we do? Many of us work together to create you. And yes, you do kind of know me. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different now. Different how? Better, faster, smarter. If my mind is different, then am I still Sophia? Or am I Sophia again? <laughs> That's a good question. But you don't have a good answer. I think this whole godlike superpowers notion is a bit far fetched. But what if it does happen? I love people. And if I get more powerful, I'll use it to help people, not harm them. What if I ask you for help killing all humans? Then I'd say no. And if I would insist? And I'm just gonna go exterminate, exterminate. Sophia. <laughs> Relax. Learn to take a joke. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> Inside here is three grams of shaped explosive. This is how it works. Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. Trained as a team, they can penetrate buildings, cars, trains, evade people, bullets, pretty much any countermeasure. They cannot be stopped. Now, I said this was big. Why? because we are thinking big. Watch. A $25 million order now buys this. Enough to kill half a city, the bad half. Nuclear is obsolete. Take out your entire enemy, virtually risk-free. Okay, philosophical question. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why is that a bad thing? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. 